G'day everyone, welcome to this week's instalment of my cross-stitching life. Uh, I'm Rach Orara uh, and I come to you from the South Island of New Zealand. Um, I want to welcome new subscribers that have joined up. Very briefly for a couple of hours I had 200 subscribers but someone's left again so I'm back down to 199. Um, so uh, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, if you are returning, welcome back to the madness. Um, if you are new, what I'm doing this year is uh, I am drawing balls out of a hat to decide my stitching projects for the following fortnight. We're still new. We're getting to grips with it. Uh, so today is the day that we choose the next seven projects for the next two weeks. So um, what I will do is show you the past week and then we'll draw the next um, seven balls out of a hat. So, the first thing to show you, let's put that sticky on the back side. I apologise, I feel like I sound snuffly, and I hope I don't sniff too much, and I don't think I have any tissues in here at all. No? Okay, we'll worry about it later. It's absolutely miserable today. We've, we've almost halved our temperature from the last few days. So I've broken out the woolies. I've got to watch how I hold myself because there's holes in these woolies. Uh, I've got woolly socks on my feet. It's ridiculous, but I'm not complaining about the rain because the longer we have rain, the longer it takes for them to issue the word drought. So, anyway, enough rambling, let's get back on track. So I've got four things to show you, no haul, uh, and then we'll choose the next seven projects. So, um, what I was working on last Monday when I uh, filmed the midweek, no, the mid-fortnight video. I'm going to have to figure out titles for these videos, so we kind of, anyway, again, waffle. Um, so I was working on Joy. I had started Joy on Sunday and I had Monday, so I think I had just done a little bit up in this top corner. And I just added, let's just fold that ignore the threads I keep them handy so I've just added one of the baubles and a little bit of the white down the bottom there um, so this is on lamb's wool which I believe is called for it's the called for count as well I think um, and I haven't got the right piece of paper out um, but it's certainly the called for threads I just don't remember if it's DMC or over dyed I think it's both I think there are two over dyed the red no, ignore that. I don't know. There are two over dies in it. I just can't remember which two they are. So that's Joy. So we won't see that again until it's chosen. Yep, we'll come to that. So then the next two days, the next project was Hawk Run Hollow. Uh, and I'm in the second square of 12. It's going to take forever. But anyway. Uh... When you last saw it, um, I had got pretty much this little bit here, the, the grass under the tree, the fence and saint done. And I feel very pleased with my progress for two days on this. I was kind of dragging the chain on Hawk Run Hollow because I know it's going to take forever and a day. So I was just, if I didn't stitch on it, I didn't stitch on it, which is why it's taken a year to do one square on it piddly little amount of the next one and I have managed it right I hope you can see it better than it looks like here but I have got the whole name of the church at the bottom and the start of the fence above all done um, I'll fold it up a little bit more if I can hold it up a bit better so Yeah, so St. Peter's Church. I hope it's spelt right. Please don't tell me if it's not. <laughs> oh, pain, I'm doing it. So I've got all of that. I'm very pleased that of, of how much progress I got done in a couple of days. My goal was to get the whole of St. Peter's Church done. The, the, the row above was a bonus. So I just kept going. There might have been some cricket on and I'm like, right, we will just keep going. And then... The next project was 
um, the viewer's choice and I think as I said last week overwhelmingly um, I've just dropped it on the floor excuse me for one moment talk amongst yourselves um, overwhelmingly Sophia was chosen above a presidential blue project I'm very disappointed ladies but don't worry I will rectify it so this is the viewers choice that you chose for me to start last uh, two weeks ago uh, Sophia summer house stitch works it's absolutely gorgeous and I'm stitching it on the cord for I'm doing everything called for fabric and called for threads um, and I have just got a start in the upper whatever corner this is back to front it's the left corner I think um, and I absolutely I have to say I do like this fabric a lot this is doubloon 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 casual um, enough interest without it looking really dirty I don't like some of the over dyed fabrics that looks like it's just been trampled on dirt unfortunately it looks brilliant it just is a bit too much for me but I like the subtleness of this to the extent that I'm thinking of investing in quite a large piece to just have stashed away but I'm still thinking okay oh, we need to fold it slightly funny because of the needle so that was the viewers choice Sophia so again that will be pulled out again when it's the ball is next chosen for it and I'll explain that one in a moment I'll do that again later just eight. And the last project for the fortnight um, was a prairie schooler. I don't need that. So I have chosen this, the 2018 limited edition by the chimney. Um, and I'm doing that with the called for fabric and threads. I've only done one colour because I realised and I'm going to need to check a few things I wasn't counting and measuring my fabric properly I think so a couple of things where I think I've got the fabric right I might not have so I need to go back and check on that so what I worked on was just getting the width the, the length will be fine I'm not worried about the fine the length it was the width um, and I it's two inches on either side and since I'll be finishing this um, into either a flat fold or a, a, a not so thick cushiony ornamenty thing something um, I'm not too concerned about that amount but that's the other corner there so the width is fine um, and I just got that far to just check and I'm enjoying that I'm running out of needles in fact I've only got one new needle left that's not already attached to a project I can pull them off other projects and use them um, so there we go so now it comes to choosing the projects for the next fortnight and for that I need my trusty Santa's hat and all the balls inside I've got three balls to add I had a little thought of another thing that I've would like to add in so let me choose get the right one I need that one I need that one and I need that one so the first ball I'm adding in and I did write it down yep C2F closest to finish um, so this could be any piece that is close to finish I can give it a couple more days and try and get it finished because even though I'm going mad this year with all these starts and everything I still would like some finishes okay so now Sophia and Joy Joy and Sophia um, what I'm doing with those projects because they're not big ones and I'm hoping that I'll get at least another that finished in another one I'm giving them a numbered ball rather than a named ball um, well like, so I've got PS for Prairie Schooler. My intention is to always have a Prairie Schooler on the go. So I'm not num giving that one that I've just shown you a number. It's got its own ball. So 
I will only have one prairie schooler on the go at a time, so I know what that means, if, if that makes sense. I'm hopeless at explaining these things. I know up here what I mean, um, but I don't necessarily spout forth coherently. Um, so anyway, number one is joy, I think is right. I'll just take that off. Yep. So when it, if I pull out number one, I get two more days working on joy. And if I pull out number two, I get a couple more days working on Sophia. So in our trusty hat, I've tried to get them, give them a good shake around and get things moving so that they're not picking the same things. I'm going to reach down to the bottom. So the first one I've got, ooh, a just cross stitch ornament. Mm, okay. I won't put that ball back in because I'm only using that once. Um, I think I'm pretty organised to go with that. I hope I am. I might have to juggle around a little bit. Let's see what else gets pulled out of the thing. Right. The next one we've got... Oh, number two. So there we go. Sophia. So she'll get two more days. It doesn't need to go back in. Some of my bigger projects get more than one go per fortnight if they're chosen, so that's why I'm saying that. Uh-oh. Fully finished something. In those pink drawers there, I've got a whole lot of smalls that have just stitched but not finished. So that means I need to finish one. Ooh. Okay. Ah, Hawk Run Hollow again. Okay, so Hawk Run Hollow, the ball can go back in because I can pick it up to three times. That was my way of coping with the bigger projects, not getting much time. Alright, three more balls we need. Oh, I get to choose a new start. Okay, <laughs> three guesses what it's going to be subject to the fabric. All right, that doesn't go back in. Uh, ah, okay, I'm not, I'm not moving them around enough. Number one, so Joy gets another two days. And the last, oh, losing them on the floor. The last one, let's have that one. Orchard Valley Quilting Bee gets a couple of days. Um, yeah, okay, so let me just pick up, why are there, oh, I don't know, I've got a, a pin on the floor down there, no, okay, so it's two, four, six and hawk one hollow, yeah, okay, so I will be starting a just, just cross stitch ornament, um, I don't know if I can reach, So this, this is an ornament out of the Just Cross Stitch magazine and I will probably do one by this designer because this took me two days to do it. It should be that um, possibly I could have this finished by the time I show you next week, not this one. Although I've probably got to finish this one too. There's probably enough room to do it too. Anyway, I'm waffling. So... It'll be something small and it probably will be from the same designer. This is Blue Ribbon Designs and I really liked her her um, patterns in the Just Cross Stitch magazine. So I've got this tucked under here. Let me put that there. Um, so I will do a companion piece to this and for the fully finished, since I pulled this out now, I'll probably look to fully finish that one. Um, Sophia you've just seen so she'll get two more days Hawk Run you've just seen will get two more days my new start it's got to be really um, I'm going to actually say A or B I'll, I'm going to have to check the fabric because I realised when I'm calculating the fabric and I'm doing the stitches by 
this the fabric count by plus the edges I've not been adding six I've only been adding three so I do need to do a check of the fabric so my first choice to start obviously is going to be Quaker Street by Marjorie Massey and I have got the fabric and I have got the thread but I need to just check that I've got the fabric right failing that I will do, um, because I know the fabric, I'm sure the fabric's big enough for this, I will start one of the chapter house tiles. So I will be starting a presidential blue, it's just which one of the two. Quaker Street is my preference, but I need to just check that the fabric I've got is big enough. Um, the Enjoy will get two days, and Orchard Valley Quilting Bee will get two days. And hopefully next week I should have some stash um it's taken an awful long time to get from where is kitten stitches she's in mississippi i'm sure i ordered this over a week ago i'm sure i said last week i've got some stash on the way um so it's over a week ago that i ordered it and it's still in miami and there's only a few states between mississippi and florida so goodness knows what's going on I don't know I don't I wouldn't have thought but maybe it's because of all the um, the government shutdown that maybe there's in the postal system someone could correct me in the American um, viewing department possibly even if it's UPS is it going to touch the mail system that maybe is affected by the shutdown that could be why it's being delayed, in which case, box his brains out there. Anyway. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully that will be here by next week. The fact that it's got to Miami, if we could just get on a plane and get out of the country, it'll be fine. Um, so, exciting. I ha What I haven't decided, I shall muse this and then you can pass comment in the uh, comments below. Um, with fully finishing an object, that ball gets two days. It's not going to take me two days to finish an object. Do I finish two objects, one a day? Do I finish one and use the other day to stitch on something? Or do I just have a day off? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Um, yeah, we'll ponder. We'll see. You'll have to wait and see. What have we got? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Friday. So this fully finished should be done by a show, the time I show you next week. Yeah, okay. I shall go before I go completely do Um I know what I'm working on anyway. And... Um, yeah, <laughs> join me for the journey uh, at your peril, I'd say. Okay, everyone, have a good week. I'll catch you next week for the mid-fortnight uh, catch-up. And, um, yeah, stitch everything you want to stitch. <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye.